Here is a picture that was made by a really famous artist and his name was Mondrian. Mondrian. Everybody say Mondrian. A little louder, say Mondrian. Very good. He did pictures like this that had straight lines, rectangles, and squares. So rectangle, rectangle. What's this one? Yell it out. Rectangle. What's this one? Square. So this one has four sides that are equal, okay? So this is by Mondrian. What we're going to do is we're going to color our own Mondrian. Some spaces are going to stay white of the paper, and some spaces are going to be colored in. What colors did Mondrian use? He used red, yellow, and then this is a bright blue. So mainly red, yellow, and blue. And then a couple of them are black like this. So you're gonna to get to choose which squares and which rectangles you color in and which ones you leave blank. So when I'm ready to get started, I'm gonna get out my box of crayons. Here's my box of crayons. Before I start, I'm gonna put tape on the bottom side down here. So if you take a little bit of tape, yeah, and you're gonna put tape right down here, boop, like this. I'm gonna put two pieces and there's tape over by the crayon area where you can grab and I can help you. We tape the bottom shut so that the crayons don't fall out. We could also use a crayon corral. So these little crayons are gonna go inside of here. So just go carefully and slowly. Don't go in a rush, you're gonna break your crayons because they're very breakable. Take this part like this, fold the flaps out so no little crayons get left behind. And then you hold your crayons way down in the bottom of your crayon corral and just shimmy them out, just kind of slide them out like this. Don't shake your crayon corral because you might break your crayons. These are all nice and pretty crayons, okay? Crayons are breakable. They're just made of wax and coloring and a couple other ingredients and that's it. So they can break very, very easily. So this is a corral. So pretend that these are like your little, your little horsies. Do, 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 do. Oh, I can't get out of my fence. I'm fenced in, it's a, it's a corral. I can't get out of the corral. Then they don't roll on the floor. Um, they don't roll to your neighbor and fall on the ground and get broken. So we don't want that to happen. I'm going to get out my red, my yellow, and my blue. Red, yellow, blue. And then I can also get out my black. So these are the crayons that we're going to use. So at this time, we're going to pause the video for a second. And we're all going to get out our red, yellow, blue. Red yellow, blue, and then a black, and we're gonna put them in our crayon corral. So let's just take a second to do that, okay? All right, just one second. I'm gonna pause the video. Let's help get up here and pause the video. Okay. All right, welcome back. We've got our crayons in the corral. What was the artist that we're looking at? His name is Mondrian. That's the name of our artist, Mondrian. And we're gonna color in. I'm gonna teach you how to color nicely with your crayons. So I'm gonna set that to the side. I'm going to put this one right up here, and I'm going to use red first, okay? So red, yellow, and blue are called primary colors, and I'm going to teach you the cheer right now, okay? So let's have everybody stand up. I'm going to do it in front of the class with everybody, okay? And we go, primary colors, and then you go, primary colors, and then you're gonna like karate chop because we're like superheroes. So our hands were on our hips and we go primary colors like this, like we're a superhero. And then we have our hands on our hips and then we say red, yellow, blue, like we're karate chopping. And then you go red, yellow, blue. So let's try it together as a team. So I go first, I go primary colors. Red, yellow, blue. Now you go red, yellow, blue. Okay, so that's our primary colors chant. So here we go to color. When you use crayons, have you ever had one break in half on you? And then it's like in half and then you're like, oh, poor crayon. Don't push too hard in the middle of your crayon. Hold your crayon way down at the bottom down here. Now, some of you are new to crayons. So remember, this is our crayon. This is going to be a puppy dog. So go bark, 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 bark. The, the puppy dog likes to eat crayons. So the puppy dog goes like this and he's gonna try to take a bite of it. Ruff, 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 ruff. This middle finger, the next finger, just kind of rests down here. And then these two, they just stick way down under here so you don't need them, okay? So our fingers are way down at the end. Let me show you one more time. Crayon's running away. Dog's coming. Bark, 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 bark. It's going to get me. So put the crayon right here, way down at the end. So hold the crayon down here on the lines. Way down here at the end. Next finger just kind of goes here, and these two tuck under. 
because if you hold it way up here in the middle like this and you try to color it'll break in half easily so way down here it won't break okay so when you're ready to color let's do like this spot right here so i'm going to start in one corner and i'm going to just kind of go back and forth i'm going to try to stay inside the lines in one area and i'm not pushing super duper 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 hard but i'm just pushing just enough to get the crayon onto the paper and then i'm kind of doing like each section at a time until i fill in the whole thing and stay in the lines so you kind of go back and forth and then i'm gonna get way up here to the tippy top crayons are very hard to erase so we don't want to go outside the lines Oh, so over here on this side, it's kind of sloppy, but this side over here, I can go back over just a little if I wanted to, make it nice and perfect. So this side over here, this is very, very, very good coloring. This side over here, oh man, we didn't stay inside the lines. Oh goodness, I better fill that all the way in so I have a nice box all full of red. So now this is a beautiful coloring job where it's all filled in. I don't really have any white spaces left. Maybe I could fill in right here a teeny bit. Maybe up here, maybe down here. There we go. Now that's perfect. So now I'm gonna put my red crayon down and I'm gonna grab, let's say, a yellow one. And on this big paper, I might do, oh, I'm gonna do this whole big middle section yellow because yellow might be my favorite color. So I'm gonna color this whole thing in yellow, okay? So that is our project for today. We're gonna practice coloring with our crayons. When you are done with your crayons, here's what I want us to do. Crayons take a very long time to put away. So we're gonna take our time. When we put crayons away, take just a couple at a time. Let's say take three at a time. This one's upside down. Turn, turn this guy this way. If you put this guy in your crayon box upside down, his little head will break off. So I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna go this way. You're gonna hold your box of crayons, open up the flaps, and you're gonna just put in three at a time. You're gonna tip it sideways so all of those crayons lay down in the side over here. So, so I think when I put away crayons, I think I usually do like two at a time and poke them in there. Our box is taped shut on the bottom. If you forgot to tape your box shut, go do that. Here's this guy here. I don't think teachers give enough time to put away crayons because it does take a long time, especially for little fingers. Even for an adult, it takes a long time to put these away nicely. Fold these flaps first, fold this one in next. Okay, and now we can put these nicely and neatly in our art bin, okay? So, happy coloring.